Envy M E. Envy me? Never mind. Edith? Ugh. Hello, everyone, and welcome to DIY in 5, the show where we break down tech and make it simple for the everyday user. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are discussing NVMe, an exciting and still relatively new to most technology that's changing what's possible with PCs a few hundred megabytes per second at a time. Now, if this kind of stuff gets your read-write speeds to soar, then make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. So you may have heard the term NVMe thrown around in conversations about memory, but what exactly is it? NVMe, or Non-Volatile Memory Express, is a super fast way to access non-volatile memory. Flash and solid state devices, SSDs, are a type of non-volatile memory. Hence, NVMe is a super fast way to access flash memory. When SSDs first arrived on the scene, they used SATA and or SAS protocols to be more in line with the existing hard drives everyone was used to. To keep up with SSD speed, performance, and to be closer to the CPU, PCI Express, or PCIe, was the next logical interface for flash memory. But early PCIe SSDs lacked industry standards and added features. This is where NVMe comes in, specifically built for non-volatile memory, packed with features and highly scalable. It's a transfer protocol, not a form factor like M.2 or an interface like SATA or PCIe. But because it's the standardized interface for PCIe SSDs, you can see where people might get confused. Now, when I say super fast, I mean crazy super fast, like two to seven times faster than SATA SSDs. And just to give you an example, traditional hard drives using the SCSI protocol had one queue for commands, okay? NVMe is designed to have up to 64,000 queues, each capable of 64,000 commands at the same time. Like, this is some real Neo in the Matrix-esque processing. Now, this kind of speed used to cost a fortune, but drives are getting cheaper. And I happen to know this because this is Kingston, and the A1000 NVMe PCIe SSD is priced nearly the same per gigabyte as a SATA drive would be. Hooray for tech progress! Now, it can't be all sunshine and puppy dog farts, though. As far as this tech has come, NVMe is still not as widely supported as you might think. Currently, it's got operating system support from Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and even Chrome OS, but BIOS and component support are not quite so prevalent. If you have an older system you're looking to upgrade, it may not work at all. And if you do decide to go there, it'll probably require some amount of tech know-how to set up. Ah, the exciting prospect of seeing flash memory reach its full potential. I love progress. If you've got additional questions this video didn't answer, please leave them in the comments below. And if this video gave you a solid helping of tech knowledge, then feel free to hit that thumbs up as well. All right, that's it for this week. Take care, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.